Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to understand how to run auto machine learning model in RapidMiner. RapidMiner 8.1 have introduced auto model, a new addition to RapidMiner Studio that accelerates everything data scientists do when building machine learning models. Unlike existing automated machine learning approaches, auto model is not a black box that prevents data scientists from understanding how the model works. It will give you equations at the back end also. AutoModel generates a rapid minor process behind the scenes so data scientists can fine tune and test the models before putting them into the production. Moreover, automated data science and machine learning can exponentially reduce the time and effort required to create predictive models for all businesses and organizations regardless of size, resources or industries. Now, how we can do this in Rapid Miner? Let's see. So, first of all, you will have to go in the Auto Model menu from here. Then, you will have to activate the import new data, or if you are aware about any data set which is there in community samples or samples, you can load it from there also. So, I am having one data set that is churn customer churn data i will click on it and press next now i will have to specify what are what is my objective of of running this machine learning model is it a predictive objective or a cluster uh, creating clusters or identifying the outliers so my object here objective here is predict the variables or the attributes which are there in this data set are gender, age, payment method, churn, last transaction. So on the basis of this attribute gender, age, payment method and last transaction, I want to find out the profile of the customers which, which churns. So my first of all, I'll click here predict. So it will immediately ask me what is your target variable. So I'll specify churn is my target variable. Now I'll press next. So it gives me uh, that what is your sample size? 578 are the loyal customers and 322 are, are the customers which are going to churn or leave the company. You can also define cost benefits from here. That is, you want to keep 50-50 or you can also keep 60-40. So you can specify uh, what is your cost matrix. I'll keep the things as it is. Click OK. Class of interest, you can change from here. At present, I'll keep class of highest interest is what, what, are the, what is the profile of the customers, those who churn. Now, I'll press next. Now, it will give me the quality of your data from here. The, co the correlation, the idness, the stability, and the missing. So, it gives me the quality measures of the data set directly from here. So if you get a green signal here, it means that your data is really good. Everything looks good and we can include this attribute in our analysis. But if you are having a red button here, then there is a warning signal. Press next. Now you can select the model which you want to run. It can be new bias, generalized linear model, logistic regression, deep learning, decision tree, random forest. So I'll select few of them because it will take a lot of time. So I'll activate logistic regression, decision tree. Let me switch off all others. And then I'll press run from here. So it will start building up the model from here. It will take some time for building up the model. So now you will get the result here. So the table gives that what is a classification error in logistic regression. So it is 20% 20, 20 in decision tree it is 15% and in support factor machine it is 36%. If you want the classification accuracy, you can just activate from here and you will get the classification accuracy from here. So this gives us a runtime. Support factor machine has taken maximum time in comparison to logistic regression. But you can see that the classification accuracy of decision tree is highest. 
now you can also check for individual model so i'll go in logistic regression i'll activate the model so i'll be able to get the coefficients the p value so i told you that it is not a black box it gives us the clear cut indicators or the attributes which are significant for prediction so here i got the p values also weights so these weights specify that to predict that the customer will churn or not the attribute which gets the highest weight is you can say is contributing maximum in predicting the class that the customer will churn or it is a loyal customer then i'll go in simulator now this simulator if i scroll the bar from here depending upon this you can see that if i increase the age what happens on the churn similarly i can see here also important factors for loyalty so if i see increase or decrease the age what happens moreover changing the gender what happens and depending upon the last transaction what is happening and the payment is done through crash check that also depends then we get the performance so all the measures of performance are given here moreover we can also get the confusion matrix which we have earlier discussed in many of the videos i will advise you that kindly refer my previous videos on various machine learning models and then use this auto auto machine learning model so that you can understand these things very nicely you can get the lift chart from here you can get the predictions also from here and the production model is also ready which you can deploy from here now again you go in simulator and press this optimize now this is a prescriptive analysis they have gone for press the next button now say for example i get a new customer whose age is 35 then i specify that the gender is female then i specify that the last transaction is of 4000 rupees then i specify that the payment has been done through cash check or credit card credit card okay. so now i want to predict that what are the chances that this customer will churn or uh, or is a loyal customer so i'll press the next button run and finish and it will give me the answer directly that this customer is going to churn based on the features age female and last transaction now you can also open the process from here and you can see what are the process which the algorithm which the processor has considered to train the model and therefore this is the process which has been considered you can also press the deployment button from here and you can directly deploy this model on a local a local area or the client area wherever you want so for more videos on rapid miner kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos of rapid miner so thank you